Um, I'm here with my mother, Margaret Bell Wiley Morgan. Um, could you please tell me, uh, Mom, what your birth date is and where you were born? Oh, uh, June the 7th, I was born 1923 in a farmhouse in Western Greene County, Richfield Township, almost on the West Virginia line. What was Waynesburg College like at that time? Well, it was very small. What year was uh, that? That was in 1941. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think we did have around 100 in the freshman class, which was a pretty big class for them. And it was mainly just, uh, just Miller Hall and Hannah Hall, where the, uh, which was right beside Miller Hall, uh, where the chemistry labs were in the first floor. And then the football players lived on the second and third floor. And, um, and then we had Walton Hall for the dormitory. And I, there wasn't even a library. It was in Miller Hall. The library was in Miller Hall at that time. Mm -hmm. so. And what did you do for fun in college then? Oh, oh I just loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had sweater hops mm -hmm. in the evenings. And we, but we had we had to sign in and out uh, at the dorm, and I think on the on the weekdays the the boys could only stay till nine o'clock when mm -hmm. they came for sweater hops, and uh, on the weekend I think it was eleven or twelve. Mm -hmm. We had uh, several formal dances. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the homecoming dance and. And then at Valentine's Day, and that was when I had my first real date with that, was Valentine's Day. And then the big spring uh, May Day dance. Mm -hmm. And weren't you part of the May Court? Yeah, day? I was, it was <laughs> totally surprised <laughs> and excited. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now Ross Aiken uh -huh. was the other one. And uh, it was just, uh, uh, it, was, it was really a thrill. So where were you when the war first started? At Waynesburg College. Okay. Well, uh, what was, can you tell a little bit about the reaction on campus? Oh, we were shocked. When, and we got home, I remember hearing it when I got home from church that morning. It was a Sunday morning that, uh, that the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor. And, um, well, the, the young man just started leaving, going, join, you know, uh, volunteering and and uh, even like most scary, he left in February. I remember, right in the middle of basketball season, they played football and basketball. And uh, and Dad and uh, uh, Don and Don Pedernal and Al Como tried to hitchhike to Pittsburgh to volunteer. Well, let's see, did they actually get there? Well, no, I don't think they did. Prexy caught Prexy Stewart was our college president. He saw them out on the Washington Road or something, and he stopped and talked to them to come back to school. Mm. Interesting part. I was going to tell you about that. Pre the boys used to all have to take a course in about alcohol from Prexy, and so they that was the, when Dad was up that spring, and so. Uh, they would play ball. It was in, in the evening. They would play ball out there, and then Prexy came out like, Okay, boys, come on in now. <laughs> and that was the president of the college yes. saying that. Yeah. And then, you remember, Dad used to tell about him. He would come up on the second floor to watch the evening, to listen to the evening news on their, on their bed and fall asleep. <laughs> They'd have to wake him up to go home. <laughs> a great guy. <laughs> but, but my dad said, well, you go to Waynesburg one year, and if you really still want to transfer, you can. And so it was very, I'm very happy that I did that, because uh, I took just what I needed to, that would transfer, and everything was accepted at, at Penn State, but I also met your dad there. 